Hello and welcome to Geeks and Geeks channel. This session will introduce you an assembly language program for LPC 2148 based on ARM 7 cores to multiply two 16 bit numbers. So let me give you a brief introduction how to write an assembly language program in a Keel Microvision 4 editor. Okay. So first of all, to create a project, we need to click on the project here in the menu bar and click on new microvision project. Okay. Once you do that, it will ask you to uh, create a project file. Okay. So you can create your own folder here. Let me create a folder here in any workspace. Okay. Create a folder here, new folder. I'll write uh, test. test project. Okay. Test project. And you can give the name of that uh, particular project in that particular folder i am giving the name okay i will give it as test and you can see the the extension of the project file will be dot uv proj okay microvision project save it once you save it it will ask you for the selection of the microcontroller here you have to go for this nxp founded by philips and here we have to check for lpc 214 it because for all the programs, we are writing an assembly language program for LPC 2148 based on ARM 7 cores. Okay. Based on ARM 7 core. So we have to select LPC 2148. Search for that LPC 2148 here. You can find it here. And you can see the description here. It is an ARM 7 TDMIS based high performance 32 bit. See, all the registers are 32 bit. Of course, the ALU, everything is 32 bit here and it is a RISC microcontroller, reduced instruction set computer. Okay, RISC microcontroller with the thumb extension, 512 KB on chip, flash ROM with the ISP that is in system programming and in application programming, 32 KB RAM. We have 32 kilobyte of RAM. Okay, it is a vector interrupt control and there are several other information which is related to LPC 2148. Now, once you select that LPC 2148, you have to click on OK. OK. As you can see here, I had already selected it. Right. OK. Click on OK. OK. Then it will ask for this uh, prompt copy Philips LPC 2100 startup code to project folders and add file to project. For all the software projects, you can click no. For all the hardware projects, okay, we have to click on yes, we require the startup.s project folder. But as of now, I'm clicking on no. Once you do that, you can see one target folder got created here. And in that, you can see also there is a source group one. So this is the group in which we need to add up our uh, ASM file. That is an assembly uh, file here. Okay. Now, once you get this, we have to click on here, file new or create an empty document here okay now i'm going to write one small program for uh, data transfer instructions so as you can see here i'd written one small program for uh, uh, data transfer operations here okay so once i so once i write this program you need to save this program okay you can click here save the program and save it in the same folder in which you have created your project file that is a test project folder and here you can name the name of your program okay i will write it as test itself test.asm this is an assembly program dot asm is extension for every assembly language program save it so once you save it you can see everything uh, uh, there are some colors and all it has come because it indicates uh, various types of data here so all this uh, these are the data hash whatever you give r3 r1 these are all the registers okay now uh, let me explain you this program. So this program is a, a very simple program to uh, show you the demonstration or all the data transfer operations here. So you can see TTL, this is an assembler directive and uh, uh, this is nothing but the name of your uh, program. And this is the code segment uh, area. Okay. The name of the area is Proch. Okay. And this is a code segment and it is mapped to read only. This is an entry point in which we are going to write the logic of the code. Right. And uh, this is the start and stop labels, which is left justified. And the logic of the code we are writing towards the right, uh, at least one tap space has to be given here. OK, now and you can see there are uh, uh, I am using R0, R1, R2, R3, four registers I'm using just for the demonstration purpose. Here you can see the value of one is added to uh, is moved to the R0 
and uh, you can see the hexadecimal value whatever the number you write with 0x it is nothing but a hexadecimal and when it gets stored in r1 it is showing you the 32 bit value okay because all the registers in arm 7 are of 32 bit uh, numbers okay similarly when you store the data it is going to what does r2 will store r2 is not going to store 21 r2 is going to store the hexadecimal of 21 and the hexadecimal of 21 is a uh, 15 okay because 16 ones are 16 what is the remainder is 5 so 1 and 5 1 5 will be stored so it will store it in 0x 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 5 okay and uh, if you want to copy the register from one uh, data from one register to another register you can use this operation okay and this is uh, to load and store the data because uh, only two operations uh, is involved in the memory that is to load and store the load is to load the data from the memory to the register and store is to store the data from the register to the memory okay it's a simple program however in the future uh, sessions i'm going to explain you each and every uh, single instructions okay anyways uh, so once you read this program you have to click on this target folder double click on the source group one it will ask you for the assembly file here uh, check for the files of type select uh, asm file here okay once you select uh, asm source file here click on uh, you click on that particular file test.asm click on add once you click on add close okay and please verify that it has been added to the group successfully or not that is test.asm once it is added now it's time to compile the program okay compile the program here you can translate it you can see there are zero errors and zero warnings and then you have to click on this uh, build okay once you have built the program you have to click on debug this is a debugging session and when you click on this debug click on ok here you can see several windows there are register windows disassembly window and uh, text editor window command window and uh, uh, there is a memory window also okay and if you want to know see the memory you can click on here memory one okay watch one you are cables and you are uh, uh, serial windows also you can see it here and to to see that you can click on view here Okay, if the memory window is not coming, you can click on view and you can see there are so many several windows, whichever it, uh, you would like to have it. All the UART windows, you can see it in the serial windows. Memory windows, you can see it here. Memory 1, 2, 3 and uh, 4. Like to uh, see the output handle, you can make use of these options here. Okay. And if you want to increase the, uh, the font of this program, you can directly go to edit, uh, go to configuration. Okay. In the configuration, you have to go to this colors and font and click on this uh, arm editor asm files and click on this korean new okay and here you can increase the size of the program click on ok okay okay and you can see that there is a change in the size of the font font size of the program now uh, uh, to uh, to uh, trace the program we can just uh, see the, uh, some options here okay uh, you can see step uh, f11 or f10 okay uh, now to go for a single step line by line execution you can see it here you can go through here move r0 comma 1 and you can see the results here see here look at here r10x21 okay now you see what is the value stored in r2 it is 15 hexadecimal of 21 is 15 r3 will store the same value as that of r1 r0 and you're loading and storing okay that is going to use uh, some of the registers so when you use the ldr r0 comma r1 that means you are loading the data from the memory to the register so you are loading the data okay in the, the uh, which is pointed by r1 the content of that r1 content of r1 will have the data and that data is stored in memory that you are going to load it in a register r0 similarly uh, r0 data you can also send it back to the memory using str okay instructions so this is how we are going to debug the programs here fine okay now let us proceed with the the program so let us write the assembly language program to multiply two 16 bit hexadecimal numbers so first of all we have to declare all the numbers in the data segment here as you can see here this is the area okay this is a data segment area here the name of the data segment is data one here and it is mapped to read only okay it is mapped to read only and there are two uh, variables as you can see here number one and number two and it has been given as dcw define constant half word okay half word means it is around 16 bits 
okay dcd will give you 32 by uh, 32 uh, bits okay dcd will give you 32 bits this is uh, that is a defined constant data but here we have dcw and we are given the hexadecimal number that is 0xc123 so this is one hexadecimal number okay so you can see 0x is an hexadecimal and c123 is an numbers here okay and similarly in number 2 also that given 0 to a this is also uh, the second value which is going to be get multiplied with the first value so these two multiplications we have to do okay now let us see the logic of the program so in the first line as you can see there is an assembler directive ttl this represents the title of the program whatever you write beside it it will be considered as the title of the program so this the title of the program is 16 bit multiplication okay and the code of the program or the logic of the program should be written in a code segment itself okay we have to write it in a code segment and we can see it here so we have to write this in a code segment area the logic of the code and the name of the area is multiply you can give any other name too okay and this is a code segment and it is mapped to read only right this is the entry point in which we write the logic of the program whatever you see towards the left start stop num1 num2 these are all the labels here these are all the labels fine and the first line of the code so what has to be done now we know that whenever we store any value okay whenever we store any value in a variable variable is nothing but an area in a memory location that means we are indirectly storing this value in a memory right and there are only two operations involved in memory the two operations are load and store load is going to load the data from the memory to the register similarly store is going to store the data from the register to the memory now since we have the data stored in the memory we need to we need to write the instruction to load the data from the memory to the register and that is this particular line here this is going to load the first value or the first number to the register r1 r1 is a register ldrh okay load register half word here and that is what we are going to store it in a r1 okay so now what is the value of r1 r1 will hold 0x c123 okay so it will take only 16 bit number rest of the values is there no that will be uh, occupied with zeros because r1 or all the registers r1 to r15 all the registers these are of 32 bit this can hold the 32 bit numbers okay since you are storing only 16 bit now the rest of the unoccupied spaces will be accumulated with zero similarly ldrh r2 comma num2 so r2 will be holding the second number now we are going to multiply this right so you can see this is as a triadic instruction because as you can see three registers here r0 r1 and r2 so here we are not going to multiply r0 into r1 into r2 rather we are going to multiply r1 into r2 and whatever the answer we get we are storing it in a r0 okay so of course uh, when you multiply this r1 into r2 the final result will be stored in r0 and we are going to see the result in the register itself not in the memory if you want to store it in a memory you can uh, assign some uh, memory location by some label and then you can uh, store that uh, data from the uh, register to the memory using strh okay we can do that so after this line it is going to uh, stop executing further because uh, th there is an uh, infinite loop it is going to work on here okay branch on stop again stop is a label it will keep on moving in the same instruction and the program will terminate hope you understand and you can see a line over here th that means all the uh, the data which is going to stored in a memory these are aligned with the four byte uh, boundaries okay four byte boundary that means uh, if the address starts with 4000 uh, the next address will start at 4004 that means to for each uh, number uh, okay we are giving four memory location since one memory location uh, will hold the maximum of one byte of data okay since all the registers are of 32 bit uh, numbers so it requires four bytes of memory location to store a single value so uh, arm 7 will help you in as aligning all the uh, memory location to store the data here okay then we are going to end the program since you have started the program you can end the program here okay now let us see the execution of this so we are going to click on uh, save here after that do not forget to translate and check for the errors here if there is any errors please correct it 
as of now we have zero errors and zero warnings you have to build the program once you build the program you can click on debug session okay it will tell you that it is a evaluation mode and the maximum size limit of the code is limited to 32 kilobyte and then click on ok now it will take you to the debug mode this is a debug session in this session you can see there are several windows uh, one is a register window disassembly window okay this is a text editor and this is a command window and this is a memory window okay now let us see execute it line by line first of all we can see r1 this num1 and num2 okay this is holding some address in this address this data is getting stored okay now none of us know the address of this num1 and num2 now if you'd like to know the address you can use a uh, equal to num okay if you're at equal to num of course uh, uh, the address of that uh, uh, num1 will be stored in uh, r1 but as of now you can see there is nothing okay directly you're storing the number to the r1 okay immediate addressing mode so now what we do is we just click on the start label here okay click on uh, the step uh, uh, line by line execution or you can press f11 in the keypad now once you do that r1 uh, uh, first click you can see the first number is stored successfully in r1 similarly you go go ahead now you can see in r2 you can see that uh, the second number is also stored uh, successfully now i am going to multiply r1 and r2 and the result i am going to store it in r0 now as of now r0 is 0 once you execute it third line you can see the answer here this is the answer this is the multiplication of this is the multiplication of that numbers okay two numbers whatever we had given now right and finally we're going to see the output here so this is the two numbers you had given 0 2 a a c 1 2 3 okay after you multiply you got the output here so this is your final result right so if you have any queries regarding to this program uh, please put post your comment in the comment section thank you